I think in Scotch whisky, there there is no such thing as I am. I think it really is a, a we are mentality. It's not about one person. It's not about individuals. It really is about the effort of a team. And I think this is what this expression from Beaumont really reflects. This is um, the first ever edition of our Craftsman's Collection. It was five sherry casks um, that were selected by our maltsters, or team in the malt barns, and um, we launched 3,000 bottles at 54.6%. Um, there was a range of casks and each of the maltmen came down. They looked at the casks and they selected the one that was their favourite. These casks were then vatted together to create this product here and five casks in total um, were selected. And to reflect that on the um, on the packaging and indeed on the bottle, you will actually see um, the names of the guys who um, selected these casks. So these casks were selected, they were vatted together, they were filled off at cask strength 54.6 and they were fresh sherry butts. That's what gives this whiskey here its distinct flavour. They were from 1992 and bottled at 13 years old. Um, some would say that's an unlucky age. I th certainly um, think that the maltsters here would tell you it's an extremely lucky age and that's reflected here in the quality of the spirit. At 54.6 it is going to be a little bit fiery on the nose as you would expect. Lots of smoke, lots of dark rich sherry notes coming through in there. It's fresh, it's vibrant, it's still a young um, style of whisky, but I think that 13 years here in the finest fresh sherry butts really brings a depth of flavour that is seldom seen in a whisky around the 12, um, 13 years age mark. A lot of dark flavours in there, there's a little bit of oiliness in there, you get lots of that smoke, you get perhaps um, some tar-like notes, it's, it's dark sugar, coffee, cocoa, these sorts of flavours. Try tasting this, you are going to get that little peppery light on the tongue, um, which comes from the higher alcohol. Little bit of pepperiness on the tongue, but that quickly subsides just to give you that richness that you would expect coming through um, from the finest sherry casks. You get some sweetness still coming through from the malted barley, so although we use the finest fresh sherry casks, they don't dominate the spirit, they just work in perfect harmony with the spirit and balance and complexity here is absolutely fantastic. Then you get that smokiness that just engulfs the side of the palate and again the distinct saltiness of Bowmore. I think, you know, the maltmen I know are very proud of this and I think this is a whisky that just shows that everything that we do here is a team effort and there is no such thing as an individual when you're striving after perfect quality. And I think here what we have is just an example of how a team works together to produce quality products.